Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at solving a differential equation initial value problem. The differential equation is 3y squared minus t squared over y to the fifth dy dt equals negative t over 2y to the fourth. Now, this differential equation is um, exact, and to see that it's exact, we need to write it in the form m dt plus n dy equals zero. And then our test for exactness is to check partial m partial y is it equal to partial n partial t. So that's our test for exactness. So what we need to do is first rewrite the difference equation in differential form with everything on the left. So what we need to do is basically just multiply by dt on both sides and then move that term over. So that'll give us uh, t over 2y to the 4 dt plus, and then we have a parentheses, 3y squared minus t squared over y to the 5th. And then dy equals 0. Well, you might be tempted to multiply also by y to the fifth, but actually that removes the exactness. It's like the integrating factor that you needed to multiply to make it exact. So if you were to multiply by y to the fifth, um, you would actually end up with a non-exact equation. So we're going to leave it with y to the fifth in the denominator. Don't fall into the temptation to do that. So now what we need is partial m, partial y. Partial m partial y. So now we're at our test for exactness. Differentiate this m with respect to y. That's going to be negative 4 times t over 2y to the fifth. Just differentiate it with respect to y. Treat everything else like a constant. That turns out to be negative 2t over y to the fifth. So now we need to calculate partial n partial t. That is going to be negative 2t over y to the fifth. So we are exact. Test for exactness. Good to go. So we tested for exactness. Now we need to integrate m with respect to x or t. So here we should say with respect to t because we have our independent variable being t. So f of x or f of t y f of t, y, the same thing here, we have a t instead of, uh, instead of x. So f of t, y is going to be integral of m dt. So that's going to be integral of m, which is t over 2y to the 4 dt. Whoops, not t squared, just t. So now integrate that. We get t squared over 4, y to the 4. <laughs> I said t squared, and I wrote t to the 4, t squared. And dt? <sighs> no, integrated. We don't have the dt. Plus possibly something that only depends on y. We'll call it g of y. So that's our f of ty if we integrate m, and then f of ty if we integrate uh, n with respect to y, integrate n with respect to y, that'll be the integral of, let's see, if we reduce that n down, we get 3 over y squared minus 1 over uh, sorry, minus t squared over y to the fifth, t squared over y to the fifth, dy. And then integrate with respect to y. We get, uh, let's see, so it's supposed to be cubed here. So y cubed. So integrate the first one, 3 over y cubed, we get negative 3 over 2, 1 over y squared. 
and then integrate the second one with respect to y, we get positive 1 over 4 t squared over y to the 4, plus maybe something that only depends on x. So then we take the union to f of ty. That should be t right there. f of ty is going to be the union of these two f of ty is going to be, well, the common thing is 1 over 4 t squared over y to the 4. So that's the common thing, 1 over 4 t squared over y to the 4. But now my function that only depends on y is 3 halves y, 1 over y squared equals a constant. And now we can actually solve for that constant using our initial condition. So if y of 1 equals 1, then that tells us that, uh, let's see, if we plug in x equals 1 and, or t equals 1 and y equals 1, we get 1 over 4 minus 3 over 2 equals c. So that tells us Find a common denominator, multiply by 2, so we get negative 5 over 4 is equal to c. So c is negative 5 over 4. So then our general solution, sorry, our unique solution, is going to be 1 over 4 t squared over y to the 4 minus 3 halves 1 over y squared is equal to negative 5 over 4. And that is our final solution right there. And so we solved the exact equation. And that's how we do it.